Hi guys, my name is Coach Dylan, and I'm going to show you guys some simple exercise variations that you can do with things just laying around the house. Alright, so to start out, I'm going to show you guys how to do an inverted row using a bath towel. You're going to take your bath towel, you've got two corners here, you can go ahead and tie those in a knot up at the top of the towel. Boom, cross under and over. Make sure the knot is nice and snug so it's going to look just like this. Once you're done with that, you're going to take this knot, and you're going to go up to a door, you're going to feed that up through the top of the door and you're just put the towel out. Okay, from here you can go ahead and close the door. Okay, just like that. Next up, we're gonna take each corner of the towel in each hand, right? And I'm gonna walk my feet towards the door, just like this, so I'm leaning back, body in a straight line, my glutes are squeezed, I'm gonna have my arms straight. From here, I'm gonna pull my elbows to my sides, squeeze my shoulder blades together, pause for a second, slowly lower control on the way down, boom. There's our towel inverted row. All right, so next up, we have the same setup. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a towel face pull. Only difference here, right? Like I said, we have the same setup. I'm gonna take one corner in each hand. Big difference here is I'm still keeping the body in a straight line. Glute squeeze, ribs down. This time, when I pull, I'm gonna walk my feet in. I'm gonna flutter the elbows up and out, so when I pull, that towel comes right in line with my forehead. Boom, just like that. All right, so we're pulling, still squeezing the shoulder blades. That is our towel face pull. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a towel tricep extension. So just like the last two exercises, we have the same setup with the towel on the door. I'm gonna go ahead and take each corner in a hand, spin around so I'm facing away from the door. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice, good grip on the towel. I'm gonna walk my heels back to the door, and I'm gonna go ahead and take elbows together, biceps to my ears. Okay, from here, I'm gonna start with my elbows straight, glutes squeezed, I'm gonna bend just from the elbows, and extend. So I'm right, I'm keeping my chin tucked, ribs down, and I'm working those triceps. All right guys, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to take a towel and do an isometric split squat. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna kind of roll your towel up, and you're gonna go ahead and take one end in each hand, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and step onto that towel with my front leg, choke up on that towel just a little bit, okay? So from here, I'm gonna take my back leg, step back a little bit, so I'm gonna be nice and low in a good split squat, slight sh positive shin angle so my knee's not over my toes, flat back, and I'm gonna hold on nice and tight to that towel. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and push down with my front leg as hard as I can, and then relax. So for this one, you can guys can kind of vary the duration that you do it. So you can go anywhere from three seconds all the way up to 30 seconds. All right guys, so next up, we're gonna take the same setup that we did for our isometric split squat, and we're gonna turn that into an isometric deadlift. So for this one, all right, I'm gonna take one part of the towel in each hand. I'm gonna go ahead and turn sideways so you can see me a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and step both feet onto the towel, keep my back nice and flat, shoulder blades pinched together, chin tucked, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to push the ground away as hard as I can, and then relax. So again, with these isometrics, right, we can kind of play with the duration, anywhere from three seconds all the way up to 30 seconds. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some hamstring leg curls. For this one, you're gonna, you're gonna need your bath towel, but then we just need some sort of hard floor or surface, right? So it's gonna work on hardwood floors, or we have tile floor here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and lay down. I'm gonna go ahead and put my feet flat on the towel, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay back, okay? From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bridge up, squeeze my glutes, think about tucking my tailbone. From here, I'm gonna slide my legs out, until my knees are just about locked out, just before, and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my legs back in, and back out, nice and controlled. Again, I'm always thinking, squeeze the glutes, keep the hips high, curling back in. That is our hamstring leg curl with a towel. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some weighted push-ups using a backpack and some heavy textbooks, right? So I know Coach Chris made a video about how to use a backpack. This is a little bit different of a variation, but it's a good substitute for bench press. So I'm gonna take these heavy textbooks, Go ahead and throw them in my backpack. And then I'm gonna zip it up nice and tight all the way around, okay? From here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And I'm gonna make sure these straps are nice and tight so it's snug to my body, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and get down to the ground. Hands just underneath my shoulders, so I have a straight line from my wrist to my elbow to my shoulder. Body in a straight line, glutes are tight. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a push up. Okay, so like I said, this is a great substitute for bench press, and you can go ahead and load that backpack up with as many books. You can use canned food or anything heavy that'll fit in the backpack.